Okay, so if you are 70% of the human population by 2050, you will be living in a city, a city asterisk, city or urban area. Uh, now, an urban area is a little bit of a tricky definition because it could be defined by the amount of people there, just in terms of sheer numbers. It could be defined in the density of uh, the distribution of the population. It could be defined in the number of people who don't depend on agriculture for a living. So there's a lot of give there, but the odds are that you are going to be living in a city or an urban area in the future. However, as our editor Casey has said earlier, not all cities are created equal. A great amount of the cities that we're going to see in the future and in the coming decades are going to be mega sprawls in developing countries. Some people who are a little bit dystopian will paint these as just gigantic slums. Um, unfortunately, that is a possibility. If you live in a developed world, uh, mega city, then you're going to see things like uh, the, the death of private transportation. You'll, you'll have high speed rail connecting you to other areas. Uh, you may also eat food provided by vertical farms, which are uh, essentially skyscrapers that use hydroponics and other uh, green, greenhouse, excuse me, technology uh, to create food in a much more uh, space efficient fashion. And uh, according to uh, many futurists and sociologists and even anthropologists, uh, some of the great debates of the future are going to center on the inequality between these developing world megacities and the ones in the developed world. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.